schools have started back there, but one middle school has to deal with a big mold problem right now. And now that school is going to be closing classroom past Labor Day. Let's go now to Queen City News reporter Derek Dellinger, who is live in Salisbury with details on this. Derek, you spoke with one student who actually saw this mold. Yes, and he says it was just a matter of time uh, once he saw it before uh, classes were basically called off there. Now, classes were due to be called off like once this mold was discovered, basically for the remainder of this week. The problem is now classes are going to be called off at least through September 9th. Going by West Rowan Middle School, what should be a bustling batch of buildings is right now a bit of a ghost town. The whirring of machines working to make everything clean once again, and for many, this is not how they wanted this school year to start. It was on the walls of the bathroom. It was like oh. in between the cracks of the bricks. And you could see it like kind of getting more and more throughout the days. Pedro Roque is an eighth grader at West Rowan and says he saw exactly what's in the middle of it all. Aspergillus penicillium, common types of mold that led to the temporary closure of West Rowan Middle, throwing schedules off for students, parents, staff, and the Rowan Salisbury School District. Prior to uh, anyone going back in the building, we will have extensive retesting and we'll make sure that everything comes back in a satisfactory level. District officials addressed concerns Friday morning for parents. The mold was discovered back on August 3rd and cleaned up, but discovered again two weeks later. Classes are due to go back on September 9th, but... We do not have an exact date yet. I have five children, so I have to take some to work. I have to come pick up some from school. Pedro's mother Alma says this inconvenience is being felt among every West Rowan parent right now but she hopes it doesn't hurt her son in the long run. I hope they don't hold it against the, the children for yeah. not being there and not, you know, being able to, to go online because some people can't afford, you know, mm. internet. Classes for now remote while the cleanup continues. I feel like I learn better whenever I'm in class and with the teacher there. But online, I don't really learn as much. Now, district officials say the entire school will be clean. That means specifically uh, discarding the ceiling tiles that are in each and every one of the buildings, as well as uh, walls, ceiling, floors, and every inch of the HVAC system. Live in Rowan County, Derek Dellinger, Queen City News.